I saw you on a podcast. Which is why your friend Kevin Brennan is a lover. And all, the, all these racist dudes, and they perpetuate this kind of white supremacist thing. Kevin, say what you said in the bar. Shouldn't vote and they're not people. <laughs> And soon as the first end bomb hit, because then they'll know that you love that racist hater Kevin Brennan like I do, and and just like a lot of really disrespectful yeah. things that were like not funny at all. Say you hate me like Sorry, you did Sarah. fourteen times. <laughs> yeah, you always have people come on here and say Kevin, uh, slurs. Let me tell no. you guys something. Okay, cool. Kevin this is the said, first time. No, he has a show I have to tell you how much I hate. This. And I can't really just sit there and entertain it. We can blame Gino, and I'll pretend that I hate cops and oh, wow. <laughs> I'll tell you what uncancelable <laughs> is. It's not saying, I've got to leave the show. The I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better male. Better male. Better male. Better male. Uh, let me take this time to introduce our guest. I'm really, really excited. Uh, about having this young lady, this beautiful young lady on, and um, really love talking to her. And I, and I think that this is gonna be a good one. Uh, give it up for Sarah J. Oh, give it up for Sarah J. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. Thank I'm you so, so much for having me on. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Returning uh, guest, Sarah J. Yeah. yeah. So first of all, um, I, I want to. I, I just want to say how dope you are. I saw you on a podcast uh, at Compound Media, and and uh, and it was like, and Compound Media is Anthony Camille and all the, all these racist dudes, and they uh, and they they perpetuate this kind of white supremacist thing. And they sure. were they that's were, actually in their charter, by the way. That's actually, <laughs> that's how they, I watched it, and soon as the first end bomb hit. I, it, Sarah, you could see it in her. I know you, were trying to be <laughs> but it, oh, you could see. Okay, it Dante, her. just for a little clarity, so just to clear it up, she was on. Uh, I believe it was in hot water with uh, Gino Bisconte, right? Well, or no, wait, no, no, wait. No, it, it was the girl. It was. The it girl. was Chrissy Meyer's show. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Gino Bisconte, who does another show um, on that network, was calling in, and then he was dropping n bombs or something. The one I heard where it was. Definitely M Bob. Oh, it was definitely M Bob. Okay. Yeah, and then many. Daddy is uncancelable, and everyone else is, which is why your friend Kevin Brennan is a lover. <laughs> Kevin, say what you said in the bar. Shouldn't vote, and they're not people. <laughs> and and just like a lot of really disrespectful yeah. things that were like not funny at all. Not funny. Not true. Yeah. Just, you know, and this that's what you kind of get with, I, and I mean. Yeah. I'm going to say all the podcasts in that in that network is it's kind of leans that way. And I remember from the first and mom, you were like, yeah, I could see it in your face. The un- yeah, the comfort, you know, I um I fully am aware that there's lots of different people in the world and we all don't think the same. And I'm not trying to like force anybody to feel the way that I feel about things. And you know what? More importantly, everybody uses CBD. Whether what, you're okay. racist yes. <laughs> or whether you're Republican or whether what a you're plug. I love this. Um, everybody uses CBD. So that's why I thing. went on this show. Right. This oh, is what, OK. I like you, that. You see what I'm saying? Like I I um, I'm open to going on to shows that may not have the same views I have, regardless of what those views are, uh, because everybody uses CBD and my product is for everyone. And, um, but I also didn't find that it was like necessary and also not funny. And I can't really just sit there and, um, like entertain it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't. Like, I can't, you know, because then they'll know that you love that racist hater, Kevin Brennan, like I do and watch me not get canceled. Say you hate me. Like you did 14 times. Yes, you always have people come on here and say uh, slurs. Let me tell you guys something. Kevin said, I have to tell you how much I hate as much as I do on my podcast. Then I get canceled. I'll say it as an aside. Promise me we can blame Gino and I'll pretend that I hate cops and Kevin Brennan's one of the most brilliant comedians I know. I know he hates me. 
That's all he ever says to me. <laughs> I'll tell you what uncancelable <laughs> is. It's not saying, I've got to <laughs> leave the show. The audience is not, That's your chance. Please <laughs> promise me, all right. people. i got to hang out with you because you walked uh, one of my guests. But um, Maybe she went to fuck some c- or something. Well, Why'd you take the right, call? Gino. We'll hang talk up. to you soon. Love you. Bye. I no, think you that. tried to be do a good Do that with from- your people on your time, but not yeah. while I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I think you tried to be as good a sport as you could be the first time. That, but, I mean, he loops around blum, 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 to yeah. a point where – and, by the way, I applaud her because she didn't make a scene. She didn't oh. curse anybody out. She just got up and left. She didn't say, don't do that, don't do that. She just got up and yeah. said, I'm, I, just to her, didn't say anything and just left, being, I'm not – cool with this that's not my vibe didn't say anything just left yeah and still that's not enough for those guys over there because they were they're continue i think anthony after the fact was kind of trying to berate sarah J as who the hell is she to, like as if it's a crazy thing that she goes hey i don't want to hear a dude just dropping end bombs recklessly like she's an asshole yeah. somehow <laughs> for, for going, you know i'd rather not listen to someone drop the end bomb incessantly yeah, it's my choice. Just like speaking like that is your choice. And uh, I, I don't have to be a witness to that. You know, like if I was if I was slipping you. through the radio or something, I would just like or wherever, you know, I would just like turn it off. I wouldn't listen to it. And I'm right. not going to listen to it in person either. <laughs> right. right. Absolutely. Yeah. And then the, the, the fact that but this is the this is the interesting thing about the mentality. The mentality is not it's not good enough for me to just not want to deal with it. Now I want to make you do somebody else have to sit through yeah. it. Yeah. So it's like these, yeah. the, the people who always talk about freedom and constitutional freedom. It's really not about it's like it's like I don't like it like, you know, a lot of times they'll be against gay marriage or this. Then you don't just don't fuck a dude. Like you could just not fuck <laughs> yeah. You, it's real it seems easy. so simple, right? Like <laughs> you don't you don't want to let it do you don't like trans people, just don't don't suck a a, a, a trans a transsexual's dick. You could just not That's, do that. It's real easy. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's hard for them. I mean, if it's, I don't know if they're just running into places or running into <laughs> like, oh, what am I gonna do again? You, you know, also you have to take into consideration I'm in their house. And things happen by their rules. And this is not my show. And uh, these are not my people. These are not my friends. You know, so um, I'm not going to go into somebody else's house and like shit on all the things that they do either, even though I don't agree with them, you know? So there was really was just so nothing. Classy. I just thank the you. Way I appreciate it. But yeah. yeah, I just felt like there was just nothing for me to say, you know, yeah. like, oh, you know, the only thing for me to say is yeah. I think I might be on the wrong show. I'm so sorry. Right, 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 <laughs> right, 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 right. But that wouldn't have been enough for them that, because no. I think you did everything because there's nothing you can do at that point. There's, it's just nonsense. It's nonsensical. You're also there to product, to pro, you know, promote a product. Like I don't want to be associated with a guy dropping m bombs, and I don't. This does nothing to help me. That does nothing for my demographic. Yeah. I don't feel comfortable. I'm out. You I'm know, out. the other concern with me is that why was I invited there at this point? Like, if you knew that this was going to be part of your program for the day. Why would you include me on this particular episode? Okay, so mm-hmm. let me let me so I'm, I'm let's unwrap that a little bit. Like right so the thing is that the assumption, their assumption was that you're a white girl, yes? I am. Okay. So <laughs> the assumption was like this white girl would be down with this. Is that what you're saying? Uh that is not what I'm saying, actually, because it's almost the opposite of what I'm saying. And I'm not saying that this is the way it is, but you have to question it because of who I am. I, I've i made a career out of like not um, having any kind of like discrimination with the type of people that I have sex with. Absolutely. I've got an award, you know, um, much to my dismay of the title of the award. The award oh, is Best Interracial Performer. Okay. You know, like I think it's been known that um, my fan base includes a very diverse group of people. Yeah. yeah. So, so you why think maybe you... perhaps let's be honest, you do have a booty. You know what? I, I can't, I can't like eat booty. away and like think it, 
<laughs> I can't eat away and like think like that, but I can't say that it like didn't cross my mind. And regardless, I wasn't going to feed into it. You so know, I'm like, why was I way- invited here? It, it would be like me being, no, I don't want to say this, but it'd be like, you know, somebody of color being invited to a KKK rally. Like, why would you do that? Yeah. yeah. Why, why would you, what that? Would, you don't have good intentions yeah. is what you're saying. It's possible that they... Uh, didn't, yeah, have you, had I you felt done... like it was for entertainment purposes. To be honest with you, I was like, is, "Did you guys? Are you guys? Did you guys invite me here <laughs> for your own entertainment? Like, what was that about?" Right. Well, I I think the the problem is. Did you just want to see what I was gonna do? Maybe, maybe they wanted to get <laughs> well, you to storm I, off, possibly. Yeah, but yeah, I don't yeah, think they I put. Mean, it, I, right. I mean, that would have been good. That would have been good radio. I or whatever, I don't right? think <laughs> they put that much thought into it over there. Oh I yeah, think, I would like to hope not. <laughs> yeah, I I think that that is so chaotic. I don't think Chrissy Mayer. Yeah. Uh, not to defend her, I don't I don't know yeah. her that well. But the idea is Gino Bisconti is a reckless person. The uh, douchebag. Yeah, I'll go on right yeah. He's a douchebag. <laughs> I've had conversations. I've known him 20 years. I've had conversations with him to the point where I said, if you say something crazy, I'm going to punch you in your mouth. I've said that yeah. to in, you know, face to face. And so a lot of it, I don't even I, like I will not even engage it anymore because we've had sure. we've gone through a situation where I've said why this is offensive. And then his his argument is always, uh, well, Uh, You know me, you know, yeah, I do know you. This is the conversation that we've ultimately had, which is interesting. And and brothers love Sarah J. But like, like, what percentage of your fan base would you think is is black dudes? A lot more than most. (laughs) (laughs) And and not just, you know, and not just black dudes. Like, we're talking like, I'm, I'm... You know, I'm kind of known around the world. So we, we, you know, we're talking Middle Eastern people of color. We're talking Anybody of color. African people of color. We're talking Indian people of color. But when I say black like, people, I, I don't. Yeah. There's always this I, movement to, to to separate people of color from black people when the when the racism is never they're never separating it. Like they're they're, yeah. they're it's like like people of color are the global majority. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they're, they're the global mon- they're minorities when you separate it into simple, simple groups. But the minority right. really is 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 white people is the min- minority. So sure. this, this 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 kind of white supremacist kind of uh, narrative that they yeah. uh, break them into little groups and then you don't. Yeah. What what what's interesting is that you're. Uh, I, mean, I just like to specify because it's not just. Black American males that are my fan base. uh, No, it's like all the people of color. I don't discriminate, you know, and I think that people have recognized that over the years. What's the most? I've got a lot of support from like all all of the ethnicities, you know. What's the most surprising (laughs) fan base that you've discovered internationally, the one that you didn't see coming? If you love what we're doing here, Go to Patreon.com. It's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips. And also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archives starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. What's the most surprising fan base that you've discovered internationally, the one that you didn't see coming out of curiosity, or just the one that's most uh, interesting to you? Okay, the one that's most interesting to me is Egyptians. Like, I am, I've got to be like Britney Spears level famous in Egypt. Like, yeah, yeah, the Egyptians love me. Is it the magnitude of amount of people or is it, is it just the fact that you don't think that it, because I I think I have a theory. I have, well, I, ha- I, I have I've studied it and researched it and I've got a pretty good like uh, what's yeah. what is it what is it like, what it's a couple it things like number one um my type of like body even like my big nose my big hips and everything is like historically like attractive to Middle Eastern men and like um more like you know voluptuous yes yes yeah. so that's like already like a thing but then the fact that like back in the day when Countries like Egypt couldn't watch porn. Right. They were receiving porn through LimeWire. And that was when I got my like jolt in my career uh, okay. was, you know, file sharing days. Yeah, yeah. So um, a lot of people, a lot of fans that I run into that are from countries where porn is really difficult to get, right. their first scenes that they saw of me 
were on LimeWire. They've been, they've and been that the- was very Egypt. Yeah, very Egypt. A lot of Indian too, but like very, very Egypt. And um, also because of that, I was like one of the first white Western women that they saw have sex <laughs> with black men in porn, you know? Yeah. So I think the combination of all those things kind of put me in like, their favorites list. <laughs> nice. Right, 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 right. I think with the curly hair, it yeah, a little bit more because I, hair. yeah, absolutely. But you know what? This was before I didn't start uh, letting my hair be curly until about six years ago. Oh, so yeah, that was before. Like this is my yeah. natural hair, and I just I gave up one day, and I was like, I'm just done. This is what's happening. But that I didn't do that until uh, I was like 40, and yeah, so. This was like with straight hair even. So, but if you think about it, like I've got that more like voluptuous like shape. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and that? like also they like big noses over there and I got one. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't know. We, we, I mean, we've done a couple of podcasts, but I want, I, I've never said, but I have been a fan of you for a long time. I, oh, but, thank um, you. I've always been a fan of you. First of all, I'm a fan of you because I feel like you really throw yourself in the work. I, I can see that you enjoy what you're doing. Like I, when you watch porn, you want to feel like the person is enjoying it. And I really, I, I really feel like there's a few porn stars who I feel like, oh, they, they this is, this is what they want to um, Means to an end for them. Yeah, man, it's just right. not sure. some like, yo, I'm trying to get, I like what I'm doing. And, and I just thought it was such an amazing and classy way that you handled yeah. it. And then the fact that they tripped and they were like, oh, not only are we going to be racist, but we we expect you to be racist, too. Or and tolerate we, it yeah, and have yeah, to sit tolerate. through it. Yeah. What a- and I think that, yeah. comes, that comes from a real place of where when you feel as though your whiteness is the only thing that has that gives you value and then you want to protect that by forcing this on this kind of idea on everybody else and not giving people space and and as somebody who who who's in the adult film world it it's there is a there there's a a level of of um openness that you have to have just to be in the in the field much less which is even interesting i was like, I, I was um who did we have on that? Um, he, uh, God, I can't remember his name now. Um, but he, you know, he Mo he, the monster, not oh, the monster. Yeah. You know, not Mo, <laughs> Mo's a good friend, but Mo's out of his fucking mind. But uh, I love Mo. But uh, the lights can do with the ball hitting. Is it Naeem? Not Naeem. Uh, King Noir. King Was Noir. That? King Noir. King Noir. Mm. Um, and uh, King Noir was talking about the the racism in porn and how. A lot of porn stars at one time, if you if you did do interracial stuff, then you would get blackballed and your quote would go down and stuff. And and what's interesting about porn and 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 even comedy and so it's like now the gatekeepers are being removed out of the way. You're producing your own content. And so now the product that you create, the people decide what they want. The, the gatekeepers who are saying, well, if you're doing interracial porn, then you're not worthy of this, these quotes or this amount of money. When you start to create your own thing, it, it's business to customer and they don't get to di- dictate mm-hmm. through their racism or their white supremacy and stuff that goes on. And then people and and people have access to it because they love it. And they're looking at you as a class act as somebody who does who throws themselves into their work and, and is really passionate about what they do. And, and that doesn't match up with any of the, the shit that the, the, the gatekeepers go, okay, this is what it should be. You know, yeah. I, I really, I had to have you on because I, I've been waiting to have you on. Cause I wonder, <laughs> it was just so dope. Yeah. You I appreciate it. So oh, classy. And- by the way, if you want to watch that episode, that episode with King Noir is episode 462. That's on the our YouTube channel here. Or you can, if you want to listen to the archives of Man School 202, you can go to patreon.com slash manschool202. That is where we're uh, starting to upload all the old episodes, starting from episode one when we were the Beige Phillips show. So you can always, uh, that's one of the perks of joining Patreon, patreon.com slash manschool202. See, Sarah, I'm not the only one who knows how to throw a, a seamless yeah, plug in there. Nice I baby. know, that was genius. And so, and, 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 so, and if you're going to sign up for Patreon and you're interested in it, what you need is CBD 
That's uh, right. <laughs> if you want to have a healthy body so you could pick up ladies, Sarah, how would they how would they improve their lives? Uh, let's say if they needed to get into CBD. You know, first of all, self-care is where it all starts, yeah. right? You take care of yourself better and you can take care of other people better. You got to fill your own cup up before you can fill other people's cup, right? Mm, Which nice. means spending, uh, you know, time maybe in the bath with a bath bomb after like a long day or maybe some massage oil. Um, I also have personal lubricant. And uh, the really exciting thing that we just came up with uh, there's nothing like this on the market. I, um, I came up with it. It's a, it's called private revivant and it is an intimate healing cream. Oh. And, uh, you're like, what is that? Okay. Does anybody have a guess what that is? I, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm going to say it's a cream that, uh, you can if rub you're on sore, yourself or something, you rub on your private parts. So if you're sore or you've, You've overdone you it. You got it. Yes. Wow. Yes. It's great for like when you overdo it, any kind of like tears, rips, chafing, razor burn, um, like, you know, irritation after being waxed, mm -hmm. irritation from clothes, elastic, kind of anything. It's really good for, um, you know, external use only, but it's um, organic. So you can use it on your private parts. It's good for your dick. It's good for your pussy. It works. It works for both. Thank you. So that's our that's our new like really exciting thing. Yeah, I try to like focus on sexual wellness a little bit, considering um that's where my experience is, and I feel like there's so many products that could be um, helpful, and uh, you know I want to bring those to the people. And that's that's you great. Do a, because do you do an internal lube as well, or I mean, or is that, mm -hmm. something that yeah. yeah? So what's the difference in the dynamic? Like, why didn't you take something like that and make it as in internal as well? What was the, the thinking behind that? Um, well, because at least for like, it's not so big of a deal with dicks, right? But with pussies, right. uh, you have to worry about like vaginal pH. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you start adding like a bunch of extra stuff to the inside of your pussy, uh, you can throw off a pH, which is not good. It starts so, to go haywire. Um, the cream, like, a, like a machine. Yeah, it starts to go yeah. haywire. The cream, the cream has got um, tea tree oil in it, which is an antifungal, and colloidal silver, uh, mm. which is great for skin abrasions. And of course, it's got CBD, which is amazing for pain. But those aren't necessarily things that you that every some women are comfortable with it, but not every woman would feel you comfortable. Don't wanna, you don't want to call it that. And, them. and they and they really yeah say, right. What I, mean, I like yeah, is it's, that Sarah. It's organic. Sarah Sorry, Sarah seems very involved in the process of picking and choosing and deciding because she's very detailed in this. I just picture her in a lab coat <laughs> that's un lab coat, very serious. The glasses, the clipboard, nothing with, else on. With just, no panties. No panties. <laughs> panties. But very serious with the bifocals going. We yes. got to run these numbers again. <laughs> yes, exactly. We need more tea tree oil. Um, yeah, you know, it's... It's something that like I have used the items separately mm -hmm. uh, for various different reasons. And um, yeah, I came up with a cream so that you could enjoy them all at the same time without having to buy all these separate products and figuring mm -hmm. out how to use them. They also just want to point out to the listeners, you can uh, your sperm can also throw a woman's pH off. Like, you oh, can, we. You get, yeah, uh, a, a, a good old cream pie. could. <laughs> Throw, throw the whole thing off too because it's peptides and so on and so forth so i just yeah you know i've had partners where um this sounds weird but i've had partners where their ph matches with mine uh -huh. and actually will make Balances. my vagina healthier and then i've also had partners where it like throws it off immediately yeah. God, yeah. does that factor in sometimes where you got you got to cut somebody loose? You're like, I don't want to. I mean, I, I, need him. I need two more weeks so I could keep my vag in pristine is condition. Right. It's just, is there a test that, that I just could means take? you can't cream pine? Yeah. yeah. Dante wants to know if he could be a donor. Is there, a is there that I could take to find out if we are in sync? I just I just, just want just to right? help. Just to help. Dante wants to yeah. help. You know, they haven't come that far yet, but I'm willing to push the initiative because right. I think that technology is there. <laughs> like they should, they should be able collabo. to test my pH and be like, oh, 6.4 yeah. and test your pH and be like 4.2, you know? And like, yeah, I don't know. About, I think the technology is there. Yeah. Well, we could start man yeah, school. Right? <laughs> <laughs> pH level based on pH levels. Yeah. But um, real quick, the, the CBD oil is, what's the name of the company in? 
It's Sarah J's self-care collection. You can get it at sarahjcbd.com. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. Um, don't forget to follow us on Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash manschool202. Follow us on uh, YouTube. Um, I'm also doing consultations every every Tuesday at 830 free consultations to just call up on YouTube. We're streaming live. Um, you want consultations from me directly, one-on-one, DanteNero.com. Click on consult for Harry. Click uh, advice from Harry at gmail.com. Hit him yeah, up. Yeah, just email me there. Um, uh, you know, follow us on all social media, like and share and all those. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you much, so much, Sarah. Love you much. And I, I can't you. wait to see you again. All right? Thank you so much. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.